I kind of be working in KPMG and I just didn't, no, I didn't like KPMG, but kind of any job that I was looking at didn't seem repeat really appealing or I kind of like doing loads of different things or kind of, I probably had seen my dad be his own boss for years like my whole life as well and I kind of liked watching that or like you never seem bogged down by a boss or anything. Um, Is there any other uh, enterprise idols or any role models or people that you were looking at? Or? I kind of just liked the idea of running my own thing and being able to make your own decisions and um, kind of being in charge of it. So I kind of liked the, you know, like, not that everything lies on you, but the responsibility of it all and kind of, I kind of enjoy the risk of it. Of it. And was it always going to be coffee joints or always going to be no. here? No. Uh, I've been very into food in KPMG and then I like, kind of just got into it randomly as a hobby. Uh, <clears throat> but never actually thought, never really thought there'd be that much money in it or it'd be something I'd actually do because I didn't want to be in the kitchen. Uh, and then I, and I kind of was looking at different startups to kind of try and get into that kind of world. And then my uncle came and was, was setting this up and wanted a partner and was kind of like, knew I had that kind of mind in the accounting as well. So I decided to take it on with them. And yeah. what did you think the, diff the biggest difference was between working for someone and being your own boss? Uh, you definitely make your own decisions and you have your own, like, when you kind of, you can put your own emphasis on everything or your own stamp on everything. Uh, but it does rely on you, everything that's like, yeah, so you, is there any you, other drawbacks, like, yeah, besides pressure? Um, <clears throat> not really, like, there's, the pressure's good, and, and there's, like, you have to answer for everything. Like, there's nothing that's, no one, you, know, you can't turn to anyone else and be like, oh, I don't know, he, the decision hasn't been made. <laughs> it's very, uh, yeah, yeah, you know, people are, like, people turn to you, and, like, something goes wrong, they just look at you, and you're like, oh, gosh. <laughs> um, and there's a lot of, like, yeah, you have, to, you have to deal with all the problems. You went to KBMG, did you ever think you were there for the long run or was it all no, with this No, I was pretty much going in there to learn. I actually thought I went in thinking like oh, I'll learn how other companies run so that eventually when I run my own company. I mean my whole end goal and everything was to run my own company. called Together We Create uh, and a friend of mine's Killing Comedy is actually my best mate. Mum is like a big branding consultant so she, I asked her and she just said your better best option is to use these guys that she worked with so we kind of worked together met them kind of went through what we wanted to do what we wanted to feel like and everything um and then they kind of came up with a few options and we picked happy out so kind of it's kind of the, the feeling you get when you're here so it kind of just worked the construction was like there's just always issues and trying to because it was a new kind of idea and the guys were using you know trying to get they would usually did construction sites so there's a few things that we wanted to make things look cool and look you know, slick and trying to get them to be like, no, we want this done that, so that it looks sleek and they're like, well, we don't do that. Trying to figure those things out and have chats with them. Yeah, it was a little awkward and the, the weights of the containers, the struts and stuff, just figuring all that out because we hadn't really got onto any, or knew anyone that had done similar. Um, so it was a lot of figuring out. Uh, so that took a lot longer and trying to manage the time when you want to open and everything. The big one was the coffee because I was very much on the idea that it had to be the best coffee uh, because everywhere it's pretty much standard now and it kind of the food I knew would be pretty good because that's kind of ourselves uh, but then it tasted like it was wired going around tasting coffees everywhere and meeting meeting people having like four or five different coffees and trying to taste the right one and then yeah the guys at Rosa Brown were just they just seemed really reliable really structured and Good operation uh, and also it was the nicest coffee. Uh, there was definitely it was a big risk because of where we are uh, and people thinking they wouldn't travel over to Wooden Bridge, uh, but we kind of knew what was what was here and what could be. Uh, at the start, we kind of we kind of rolled into the side. We hired one person and then. Uh, we, myself and Carl were working here fully and we had another guy who was helping us train for coffee and everything and he he was very good so he helped us like kind of ease into it and then we just like my uncle has her daughter is very handy uh, to have she works here and she kind of had, knows local people and hire local people um, uh, so that was actually wasn't too bad I and mean, we kind of knew them it was all like people local people's daughters and kids which is kind of nice feeling people liked it 
and then we had we hired Louis, one of the guys, as a manager. Uh, that took a while, just trying to find the right person, just because you want to make sure they're reliable. We train them up and everything, and you're gonna train them to our way. You know. The main problem at the start was just managing the cash flow. Like at the very start, you kind of spent all your money on construction, and then it was you were waiting for money to come in for suppliers, and you have to make sure everyone keep everyone happy so they stick with you. And uh, yeah, so just making sure that you had enough and try to really. You have to really like check the bank account every day or every week, um, and then the other one in, in general would be just managing the quantities and trying to see the trends on a weekend, how much you need, and try not to waste as much. And because you don't like it's, people don't like when anything runs out, um, so you want to make sure you have enough for everything, but you don't want it to be too long or you don't want to end up doing too much and then having to throw loads out. Um, so keeping on top of that is, is non-stop. Uh, and then different VAT rates, <coughs> the VAT rates have changed and it's kind of sugar taxes have come in, the new VAT rate up to 13.5 was a big hit um, and then just managing the change of prices for that and uh, trying to make sure everyone kind of understood that it wasn't our fault um, and then just pe people can be, because it's like people go away on holidays or there's a lot of students so they're going away for the summer to now hire a new group of people and train them up um, and then just kind of getting the right people in.